Hello Aquarius, welcome to Cupid Embassy Never Eleven. I'm back today to do a love reading for you guys. Um, this will apply to Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and also uh, the placements and wherever you have it in uh, in your chart. And um, also, please like, share, and subscribe my video as I always uh, as I always ask. You guys will help me a lot, be able to grow my channel that way. And we shall begin then with your energies. Okay, we're gonna first start with the Moonology cards. As I always say, guys, remember this is not going to resonate with everybody. Whoever does resonate, great. Um, adopt it. If not, please leave it to the universe. You do not want to take in a story that does not fit with you, okay? As I always say, my private readings are open. You can definitely uh, contact me for a private reading if it is of so you desire. And uh, here we go, Aquarius. Hope you guys find yourself well wherever you are in the world. All right, let's start. Thank you. All right, we have... It's time to release negativity. Full moon and Scorpio. You guys may be being negative about something, guys. Perhaps maybe you guys need to release some negativity that um, may be going on in your head. Anything negative that may be going on around you, maybe time to uh, consider and letting that go, okay? All right, so show me spirit for the sign of Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Most high God, show me the messages here for the sign of Aquarius today for the highest good. My Archangel, show me. And this is a love reading. I believe I said that in the beginning. <laughs> Sorry, but this will be for a love reading today, okay? Okay, show me spirit. Show me the story. For the sign of a praise. All right, spirit. Just need one card, spirit. Show me one card for a praise. Just one card. Well, there we go. <laughs> Mirror the mirror so treat your body like the place it is sorry like the palace it is treat your body like the palace it is guys this is pretty obvious energy here you guys have lack of confidence why lack of confidence this is what this is lack of confidence either with your body or lack of confidence in something that you're wanting to move towards. Or maybe you're wanting to move towards someone that you are interested in, but because you feel that person is, you have a lack of confidence. You feel that person is not going to physically see you the way you want them to. They may not like it because you're a little bit overweight or because you are overweight. Lack of confidence. All right, so let's let's build that back up. All right, Aquarius, there's no reason to have lack of confidence. And at the end of the day, guys, you guys may feel good in your skin, but you may feel like somebody else is not going to accept you that way. But if you don't feel good in your skin, if you don't feel good the way that you see yourself, exercise plan. Maybe moving forward to the next exercise plan. Maybe moving forward with something that will allow you to feel better about yourself okay things in life have a remedy the only thing that doesn't have a remedy in this life is death and sickness terminal sickness that doesn't have a remedy but anything else that goes on in your life has a remedy you feel overweight take care of it go to the gym get an exercise regimen there's things there's exercises you can do from home there's no excuse but build that confidence back up, okay? And believe it or not, that can also cause problems because that can bring lack of confidence in other areas of your life. You don't want that, okay? All right, so we're going to start with the Hocus Pocus deck moving forward. All right, Spirit, show me what you have for Aquarius today. What messages would you like to share? With the sign of Aquarius, with our beautiful Aquarian signs, beautiful Aquarian people. Show me spirit. Show me the story. 
some of the stuck energy here today. I don't know why my cards are not flowing right. Hold on. Give me a minute. Here we go. All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right. So we have the lovers. You see, I told you. You guys are not feeling confident about somebody that you guys are in love with. This could be a Gemini with the uh, lovers here. Number 17 could be significant. With the lovers. Page of Cups very beginning of love this is why you guys are having that confidence issue there's somebody that you like that you love or that you like a lot or that you would like to uh to have your eye on it's a very beginning thing because it's a page so this can be a young something young but it can also be very new very beginning okay show me spirit show me the story for aquarius moving forward in love Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Changes are coming your way. This could very well be an Aries, an Emperor. Okay, this is Aries energy. Could also be, could also be dealing with a water sign, but... You're not a water sign, but a lot of you do have water in your chart, like Pisces, for example. Could be, could be a, a cusp as well. The Tower. So this is another scenario here. There could have been a falling out with this person. The emperor can signify a man that is married, a married man. Okay, we'll see. All right, this deck is not, I don't have cards reversed here. I did get an energy here reversed and this is the four, four of cups reversed. Spirit, show me more. What's going on with Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aquarius. A lot of stuck energy here. All right, so we have Ace of Cups, the Ace of Love, and the Three of Cups. Okay, so there's there's somebody here. That maybe was Okay, there was definitely a tower moment with somebody who was perhaps maybe upset but no longer is upset. Of course, you guys can also have um Aries in your chart as well. Um some Aquariuses have Aries moon. Um, perhaps maybe there was a falling out with, with someone here. Tower moment. What's going on here, Spirit? Show me. What do I need to know regarding a praise? Oh, okay. Well, so the Eight of Swords, juggling, Two of Pentacles. There was a decision that needed to be made here. There's distance and a decision that was made with the two of swords and the four of swords. All right, let's go into this further, okay? Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to use the, well, let's use the Halloween deck today. Let's see what's going on. So I'm going to use the actual, my actual Halloween deck for for this okay all right so spirit i need you to clarify for me what's the four of cups reversed let's start right there what's the four of cups reversed for aquarius spirit four of cups reversed ten of bats Yeah, 
There was an ending. Oh, this came out reversed and I don't have this death reversed. So there was an ending, however, there has been changes here over something that started very beginning. There is love here, okay, between two people that had something. Something started here, it was very, very new, all right? There was a falling out here with the, ter the tower moment came. However, this person doesn't want things to end. Or you didn't want it to end. There's a death reverse, meaning that they're re they're they're not wanting this to to die. Wow, these cards are just talking all by themselves here. All right, guys, we have see the five of swords. There was definitely a falling out on this an argument with the ace of pentacles, though. Um, man, they're wanting to come in. There, there was a falling out here of some kind, okay? They're all wanting to reunite. They just, they're in their head a lot. They're in their head a lot, or you're in your head a lot about this situation, okay? Um, what happened here with, show me the two of pentacles. What are they juggling? Why is there juggling here? Show me, two of pentacles are juggling? Eight of Wands and the Seven of Wands, yeah, they're they're juggling to communicate with you. They're juggling on how to come in to communicate with you about this falling out that you guys had, um, or you know, take take the roles as they may fit. This could be reversed. This could be you wanting to reach out to them as well, okay? Um, because you know, again, energies. Sorry, something here flipped over. <laughs> the world reversed. You know, this is refusing for any new cycles to come around. The, you guys want this relationship to work out as much as they do. The feeling here is mutual. And the reason why it's mutual is because there's a lot of love in this situation. Okay? So, you know, that is definitely what I see here regarding this energy, guys. Um, there is communication. Um, let me see. Who's going to be... This communication is coming in from who? It's coming in from Aquarius' person or from Aquarius? Seven of Ghosts. The High Priestess. Somebody here is super intuitive. It's, it's them. They're very intuitive. Okay. They, they, they are looking, this could be Pisces. This could be somebody with the, uh, with the Pisces energy here. It could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. And, uh, I see here that they're just, they're just weighing their options and how to come towards you. Things behind the veil. Coming in, person's been very secretive. What's going on with the high priestess here? Show me the high. Show me, clarify the high priestess for me, sir. King of Ghosts. King of Cups. Show me spirit. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is definitely a water sign. You're dealing with a water sign, my love. Um. And the Ten of Pumpkins, the Ten of Pentacles. They want it all with you, okay? They want to materialize this. They want to come in and heal this relationship. Whatever happened here, whatever falling out happens, um, they're definitely wanting to come in and heal this with you guys. All right, Aquarius? So, you know, it's up to you what you guys decide to do with this. I'm going to pull out from the Love Oracle cards, see what messages Spirit has regarding this. Okay, show me Spirit. Good heaven, I like you. Hand on cards, take a chance, risk, being strategic. Didn't I tell you that they were with the seven of ghosts? 
and passion. There's a lot of chemistry here between the two of you. Yeah, there's a lot of love here. A lot of love here. So perhaps maybe you guys can fix this problem. Show me spirit one more for Aquarius. For clarity, thank you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Did I not tell you guys? That you guys had lack of confidence. Look at this. Not enough. Not enough. You guys don't feel that you're enough for this per particular person. That could have been the reason why your insecurities could have also sabotaged this relationship too, Aquarius. Because you're not feeling yeah, self-sabotaging, see? Frustration in a relationship. Lack of confidence. Yeah. Energy that you have to get out of because this person loves you. This person wants to be with you. So get out of that energy. Get out of that energy. Okay. Um, again, whatever you're not happy with, fix it. Um, and don't bring it into this relationship because this is that's not your body type or whatever you look like or whatever it is that you may think that you're not enough, whether it's finances, whether it's maybe you feel that you don't make enough money, um, whatever the case may be, that is not. And this could be woman or man. I'm not referring here to a woman specifically or to a man specifically. It could be woman or man. Um, the, the physical part here is, or, you know, the fact that you don't make more any, you know, enough money or whatever the case may be, whatever it is that in your specific situation is causing the lack of confidence and needs to be eliminated. That negativity needs to go so that this can flourish. Okay. So I'm going to give you a couple of letters that can, um, can be your person. Could either be a first last name of your person, somewhere where you guys met. I don't know, something that may bring you a memory, okay? Or anything specific. We have letter H. We have letter Q. We have letter T. We have A, and we have, last but not least, will be letter V, V as in Victor. So it's H, Q, T, A, or V, okay? I wish you guys all the best. It was a pleasure being here with you guys today. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. As I always say, share my content. If this you think this resonates with somebody, please share it. Hit like and subscribe on my channel, okay? It helps my channel grow, helps me be able to continue to come back and give you these beautiful readings and these messages that Spirit has to share, all right? Um, so take care wherever you guys are at. I wish you all the best, and I will see you guys next time, Aquarius. Bye. Oh, and happy Halloween, by the way. <laughs>